is welcome. <coughs> now we are going to take a new case of duality and the speciality of this case is this is a linear programming problem having different types of constraints or say mixed constraints. The sign of the first constraint is less than or equal to, in case of second it is equality and in case of third it is greater than or equal to. But let us check what is the objective, it is minimization and now we are well aware that in case of minimization the sign of all the constraints should be greater than or equal to. Now in this case these two constraints are with different sign. So we have to change the sign of these two constraints and they must be greater than or equal to. That will be very easy for the first constraint. It is less than or equal to, we just need to revert the sign. 2x will be minus 2x1, minus 4x2, greater than or equal to, minus 160. But the unique case is the second constraint, that is an equality. What should happen? Equality is x1 minus x2 equals to 30. That can be segregated into two inequalities with different signs. One will be x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 30. Another will be x1 minus x2 less than or equal to 30. Now what should we write first? Greater than or equal to or less than or equal to? That depends upon the objective. If objective is minimization, then write the inequality of greater than or equal to first. And if the objective is maximization, then write the inequality with less than or equal to sign first. So it will be x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 30 and x1 minus x2 less than or equal to 30. But our objective is minimization. So the sign of this inequality should also be greater than or equal to and what will happen? It will be minus x1 plus x2 less than or equal to minus 30. So now our revised primal this is our primal original linear programming problem is always known as primal but we have to rewrite the primal in its revised form what will happen minimize z equals to x1 plus 2x2 subject to minus 2x1 minus 4x2 greater than or equal to minus 160. Second will be now x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 30. Third will be minus x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to minus 30. And the last will be as it is because its sign matches with the objective x1 greater than or equal to 10 and x1, x2 both are non-negative. Now sign of or signs of all the constraints are greater than or equal to directly matching with the objective. We can write dual of this revised prime. What will we do? First of all, number of variables in the dual will be exactly equal to number of primals, uh, sorry, number of constraints in the primal. So there will be four, y1, y2, y3 and y4. Similarly, now the right hand side will be four z x z y or z star let us first write the dual of this reverse prime against the objective of minimization the objective of dual will be maximization maximize z star or z y whatever you write. Yes, now this right hand side will become the 
coefficients of the respective variables in the z function or objective function. So it will be first minus 160 y1 plus 30 y2 minus 30 y3 plus 10 y4 okay subject to the constraints and the constraints will be only two because there are only two variables in the primal number of constraints in the dual will be exactly equal to the number of variables or decision variables in the primal from x1 we can form the first constraint minus 2 into y1 minus 2 y1 plus 1 y2 minus 1 y3 plus 1 y4 less than or equal to opposite sign or sign matching with the objective of maximization less than or equal to nothing is 1 and the second constraint will be from x2 minus 4 x y2 sorry I am very sorry minus 4 y1 minus 1 y2 plus 1 y3 no y2 here so less than or equal to 2 and all four y1 y2 y3 and y4 all are non negative now the two basic principles are followed number of constraints in the primal will be number of variables in the dual four constraints four variables number of variables in the primal will be exactly equal to the number of constraints in the dual 2 against 2 but there is an equality at number 2 in the original primal what the rule says if there is an equality in the primal there must be a variable unrestricted in sign in the dual but there is no variable unrestricted in sign in the dual so this cannot be treated as final dual this is not the final dual not final this is not final now what how can we say right unrestricted variable what is the sign of unrestricted variable if there is any unrestricted variable in the dual we have to split it into two variables which are always non-negative say in this case observe y2 and y3 see the value of the coefficients are equal in all the cases but the signs are opposite to each other this is the sign that y2 and y3 are the variables say substituted in place of a variable which is unrestricted in sign so take or substitute y dash equals to y2 minus y3 where y dash is unrestricted in sign now the dual will be maximize z star equals to minus 160 y1 sin of y2 will be there plus 30 y dash plus 10 y4 now subject to minus 2 y1 plus y dash y plus if we have maintained the order of sign here properly matching with the objective then the sign of this unrestricted variable will be the sign of the first variable which is taken as the representative variable one of the two representative variables here y2 is positive so y dash will be positive 
2 minus 2y1 plus y dash plus y4 less than or equal to 1 minus 4y1 minus y dash because sine of y2 is minus no y4 less than or equal to 2 yes it is 2 now y1 and y3 are non-negative and y dash unrestricted now again verify what is our original primal it has two variables the final dual has two constraints original primal has three constraints now the final dual has three variables Original primal has an equality at number 2. The dual has unrestricted variable at number 2. See, order is y1, y dash and y4. So exactly at number 2, there is unrestricted variable. And all other rules, minimization, maximization, uh, last column or right hand side becomes the coefficient of objective function. So this is the final dual we can say that this is final dual of the original prime so this is the dual of this primal these two are our parts of working node we can treat them as working node that's it thank you